Well, the Princess Louise Fusiliers date back to the founding of Halifax in 1749. Their role has undergone many changes over the years, from volunteers to serving in battle. Today, they paraded through the streets of Halifax. Global's Ray Bradshaw has that story. The Nova Scotia Highlanders Regimental Pipes and Drums led off the parade from the Armouries building next to the Halifax Common, followed by the Princess Louise Fusiliers. The parade wound its way past Gottingen Street to the downtown area and entered Grand Parade next to City Hall. This is called a Freedom of the City Parade, and a Freedom of the City is a right that's granted from a city to a unit, an army unit normally in the city, to be able to march through the streets literally with drums beating, flags flying, and bayonets fixed. Lieutenant Colonel McDonald says back in 1749, for the soldiers to march through the city with arms and bayonets, it was an honour. And that's the way members of today's Fusilers feel about the parade. It's a great honour to participate in this parade and represent the unit at the municipal level and get out there so everyone can see us in all of our glory. You feel like you belong with the family of the regiment and the military, especially when uh, we are the only regiment that does this in the city. It's a great honour. Halifax Mayor Mike Savage inspected the troops and later addressed the Fusilers in Grand Parade. He says the military has played a prominent role in the history of the city. It is a testament to your character that you have dedicated yourselves to serving your country, your city and its people. The Princess Louise Fusiliers have served us and countless people in faraway places, serving as far back as the Northwest Rebellion, through two world wars and numerous conflicts. Lieutenant Colonel MacDonald also spoke to the troops. He says the city has shown its trust in the Princess Louise Fusiliers. We feel we have not only the trust of the city and her citizens, but their support. And that support was particularly felt during Canada's campaign in Afghanistan, and as the mayor alluded to, by a majority of the citizens voting to christen the newest ferry after one of her own mass corporal Chris Stanix. McDonald says when called upon to serve in conflicts, the Princess Louise Fusilers always answered the bell. Ray Bradshaw, Global News, Halifax.